Hi, this is Dr. Praveen Kumar Kaushik and I welcome you all in Ohm Learning Classes. As per envelope detector, we have two type of distortion. One is diagonal clipping and another one is negative peak clipping. As per previous lecture, we already completed diagonal clipping and we resulted with two possible conditions to avoid diagonal clipping. Here we have discussion about negative peak clipping and this is due to unequal value of AC and DC diode load impedance and due to this fact the modulation index on the output side of the detector is higher than that on its input side and as per higher depth of the modulation of transmitted signal the over modulation takes place at the output of the detector and due to this over modulation the negative peak clipping takes place so as per diagram representation we have three figure in the first figure there is no clipping and at the output of detector we get our desired baseband signal and in the second figure due to unequal value of ac and dc diode load impedance the negative peak clipping occur as per the fundamental of negative peak clipping the over modulation takes place and due to over modulation the envelope crosses the zero axis and due to overlapping of both the sidebands this portion is clipped and in the third figure there is a representation of diagonal peak clipping in which the negative peak are missed due to large value of time constant tau that is equal to rl into c and where rl is load resistance so these three figures are utilized so that you have clarity what is diagonal clipping, what is negative peak clipping and what is the desired signal when there is no clipping. As per the mathematical representation of negative peak clipping, we know that we utilize the diode in envelope detector and the diode is current operated device. So, with this fact, we have the peak value rather than RMS value. So, with this fact, the modulation index is defined and that is equal to Ka into Am by AC, where Ka is amplitude sensitivity factor, Am is your amplitude of modulating signal and AC is your amplitude of carrier signal and this mathematical representation of modulation index can be represented in terms of current also and in current we have MD is equal to Ka into IM divided by IC where the IM is equal to AM by ZM and IC is equal to AC by RL and the ZM is your audio diode load impedance and RL is your DC diode resistance. So by considering ZM, RL we get IM and IC and by utilizing IM and IC we can represent the formula of modulation index for the detector. As per the fundamental of envelope detector, the ZM is smaller than RL load resistance. And with this fact, the AC current IM becomes greater than DC current IC. And this makes the modulation index in the demodulated wave relatively higher than that of modulated wave 
applied at the detected output and due to this the over modulation takes place and due to this over modulation the negative peak clipping will takes place so by utilizing im and ic value we get the modulation index in the demodulated wave and that md is equal to ma into rl by zm very very important the ma is the modulation index as per our applied input and md is the modulation index at the output of envelope detector so as per the basic principle of envelope detector according to their application and according to less costly and simple receiver we have the maximum value of modulation index is equal to or less than 1 so the md contains the value greater than 0 and less than equal to 1 so for getting the maximum value of applied modulation index in which a diode detector will handle without negative peak clipping or you can say that it is maximum permissible transmitted modulation index value and that is m a maximum i mention maximum because i want to calculate the maximum permissible transmitted modulation index value and that m a maximum is equal to zm to rl and here we utilize the md is equal to 1 as per application scenario of envelope detector corresponding to less costly and simple receiver and my dear friends you must remember this mathematical equation and that is equal to ma maximum that is equal to zm by rl because some numerical are already asked related with this mathematical equation and this is the equation by using this we can avoid negative peak clipping in the envelope detector and we have some important fact regarding negative peak clipping the one fact is that the problem of negative peak clipping in am diode detector does not pose much more problem if the percentage of modulation index is limited to 70% as in the case of am broadcasting radio system we have another fact that a high input impedance fet based audio amplifier can be utilized at the output of detector to reduce negative peak clipping we have another important point that a fixed resistor may be introduced between base of the first transistor of audio amplifier and volume control to avoid negative peak clipping so these are the some fact by utilizing these fact we can avoid negative peak clipping with this we completed envelope detector with their two distortion point that can be your diagonal clipping as well as your negative peak clipping so as per this topic it is very very important and most popular because this envelope detector has an advantage in am broadcasting radio system so in next lecture we have the fourth am demodulator that is synchronous detector for demodulation of am signal so 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर पीसिस टाइम स्टे हेल्दी एंड इंजॉय स्मार्ट लर्निंग एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर गेटिंग रेगुलर अपडेट्स